Hi, I'm Matthews from Matthews Engineering. I'm going to show this uh, tapping arm that I bought. Um, I've wanted a tapping arm for a very long time, and uh, they've made pneumatic ones for you know 50 years or more. Um, but I don't like pneumatic tools though because they stall, and uh, you know electric tools seem so much better nowadays. Let's take a look at this uh, tool that I got. Uh, um, I got it on eBay, but you can also import them on AliExpress. But let's take a closer look at this. So this has an arm here and there's two buttons on the handle. I've got a uh, 832 tap in there now, um, but uh, it comes with metric collets and these are real nice collets. They, they spring loose and they've got a, a spring there too so you can insert and remove the, the tap easily. Um, to remove the tap you just push up on that collar and it comes on down but then it locks in there as well. There's a uh, you know a square square hole in the bottom of that, so it's very easy to change those over. This thing, these things are about a thousand dollars, or less than a thousand dollars with shipping. Um, they've got excellent torque. They've got a uh, uh, screen here where you can enter uh, what the tap's uh, size is and the pitch of the tap. Now, unfortunately, it's in metric, but that doesn't mean that you can't use the uh, you know. Uh, uh, SAE or English taps you just have to put the tapping pitch in here in millimeters so for this 832 tap I think that's uh, that's what the pitch is in millimeters the reason it wants to know the pitch is you can tell it the depth the tapping depth again in millimeters and since this whole arm is on a on a spring action you know gas spring um, it doesn't really know the de depth accurately the way a CNC mill would, but it can count the turns. And then uh, what's nice about that is when you use it in auto mode, it's got two modes. It's got a manual mode, and when you're in manual mode, if you push the you know forward button, it'll go forward, and you push the reverse button, it'll go reverse. But let me show you how automatic mode works. And so I've told it I want to tap to 10 millimeters depth. I've told it the pitch and um, it'll have two speeds as well the forward speed i've got it on 125 rpms and you can have it come out of the hole faster at 250 rpms so let's watch this do that um, so i'm just gonna what i'm gonna do here's a hole down here i've set up this vice um, you do have to have it you know the parts held in a vice to you know fight the torque that this is going to apply especially if you have a big tap um, and i made this um, you know side holder to hold the whole assembly and you can see it it'll move you know you could tap you know almost anything on this table on the corner of this table and then um, I put in some of this uh, Matthews engineering tooling plate here so that I could uh, you know put fixtures in if I wanted to hold something else and then put one of these speed vices in here and so here's a hole that's ready to be tapped um, let's go ahead and uh, uh, put a little bit of oil on that tap and then I'm going to show you the auto mode so this is on auto and when I do auto all I do is bring this to the hole gently press down push the button it'll start and then I can let go of the whole thing <laughs> watch this I let go of the whole thing it'll automatically reverse and then when it's out of the hole it'll pull away from the hole uh, fabulous uh, I excellent addition to the shop here and so much happier with this than I would have been with a pneumatic one. Tom Matthews, Matthews Engineering.